we done? We done! What's good, my fellow business? How you all doing? Uh, for anyone who wondering what the fuck that was, um, that was just me coming home, getting my Wi-Fi connected again, and all of your messages flooding through on my fucking phone. I really need to disconnect my mobile from my fucking YouTube account, because it's just getting ridiculous. Uh, I fucking love it, though. Um, so here we go, guys. Another Feels Friday, um, and this week... We are going, because uh, a lot of people have asked me, and this is in celebration of a new peasant who's joined the wall. This is my boy, Jewelverse. Um, he's joined the wall recently. Uh, also got Awato, Awato uh, on Raphia, and my boy, Tree Wall on Vincent. Um, so I've got three guys to add so far. I'll be adding you soon. But we're going type zero to celebrate Jewel. A lot of you are, have asked me for it, you know. Just how much type zero means to me. I've told you how emotional I find the ending, so you guys wanted to see it. So I said, fuck it, let's just do it. Let's just get, probably gonna be the hardest feels out the way for me. Let's just do it. So this is a feels Friday, guys. Remember, blanket engaged and quickly disengaged because it's too fucking hot. It's literally hotter than Satan's anus in England here again. It's ridiculous. Um, goofy headset engaged. Um, oh shit, no, I've got to make a coffee. Uh, I told you, hot drink is a rule. Even though it's boiling, I've got to do it. So, so I'll be back in a minute. Here we go. Got a nice cup of joe. Even though it's hotter in this house than flow riders flow. <laughs> um, I fuck, I fuck this up. I got a latte instead because, um, like a true peasant, I ran out of milk. And, and then I realised uh, my brain was a bit melty. I then stuck a scoop of coffee in. So this is a latte with a scoop of coffee on top. So God only knows what this could be like. Um, my body is not ready for Type Zero. I haven't seen it in so long. Uh, it is one of my favourite games of all time, as you know. Uh, love everything about it. The only criticism that I would have is the choppy storyline. It is choppy. It was a PSP, so it's kind of the fault. And there is some valid points to be made on the uh, voice acting. Sometimes it comes off as very unnatural. Um, what I'd say to that before we start quickly is it's not actually the voice actors fault A lot of the voice actors are very very talented have huge CVs I remember seeing the interviews you've even got some of them in 15 like Matthew Mercer uh, as I said um, But what they did is they lit because Japan had this for two years They literally brought the voice actors in they were in the booth Who fucking messaging me? Have some courtesy while I'm doing a video not to message me <laughs> What they actually did was they translated it on the spot in the booth. That's, uh, it's as crazy as that. On the spot, they had a Japanese to English translator do it. So the person was Japanese. And they were trying to translate it on the spot. And the voice actors were actually having to try to say, uh, this would work, this would come off more natural, uh, this would work better. They were having to try to do it like that. That is the complete wrong way to do it. What they should have done is handed the script over, said, there you go, to an English team, said, there you go, you've got two months to... You know, work that in, um, and give them free control of it. That's how you get the best voice acting. That's why, because a Japanese person tried to do it, uh, and they did on the spot, it comes a fun, natural funky, but, <sighs> goofy headset, engaged. Let's do this, guys. Thank you for hosting for us, IGN. Sorry, I had to, I had to reset, it was so fucking hot, I had to go damp my face. This, it's all over, right? <coughs> instant, instant nostalgia, instant feels. The song. Now, let's go home. You don't even have to see anything but this opening. To see grittiest Final Fantasy, darkest Final Fantasy. <sighs> this was hard. Yeah, but oh God. I want to catch my breath. Oh God, I'm gonna be an absolute wreck this feels Friday. I really am. I love this game. My favorite, my favorite types, my favorite fun fantasy. It's just, just period. I love every single one of those characters dearly. 
every single one. Like literally every single one. And people say, um, you can hear my voice. Oh, Remy Machina. Oh, what happened to them? Please tell me all about. Anyone them. who's watching this knows by now. So yeah, fuck. Machina tell was the white tiger. Let's see. Rem opted to become the Vermilion Bird, let's see. But their involvement in this story is so important. Then you two shall so go forth. Important. <sighs> the world will change to one where death cannot forgotten. be forgotten. But remember guys, and I, like I was gonna say, the people So please. I ask them. Don't forget them. You remember, remember my, my children. children. People say that you know, the members of Classio were just base archetypes, that that was the character and they just picked base archetypes. Um, there's a reason for that. They're trying to find a Gito. Anyone who's even played the first playthrough knows. Uh, Erasure is trying to find a Gito. And that means, that is why they, they go for the different archetypes. Let's see. Because they're trying to find it. Where was it? Is it intellectual intelligence? Mm. But One queen. A lecture? That's Why a me? Please. Is it seven? Someone and her control. compassion for others. There must be someone better for she this. She just no? can't say that. Is it that? Is that a can hit all the important points. Is it bravery Please. like King? Is it innocence Please. like Sing? Hey, 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 is it whatever the fuck nine is? Nine, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> Is that what happened? Yes, quite a surprise, oh. no? So, <laughs> tell us what happened after that. Is it well, a balance of characters, well, three days later, Yeah, it came back as if it had never been gone. Huh. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. I love Sink. Huh? Oh. I love Sink. be well versed in logic and reason. Somebody Ergo. stop him, it is please. Vital that, excuse me, our conversation is not over. <laughs> Essentially, <laughs> we're doing some studying. I'll try. Now, let's begin. Oh, Kurosame, when I saw him again. The commander's here. Oh, we'll have to continue this later. I got really hopeful that this was the future Ace. and Kurosame was back. Ace. And then the fucking gear shift comes. Gear shift into this beautiful cinematic. Ace. Beautiful. Ace. But it broke Ace. my fucking soul to pieces. Look at the classroom. Look at yeah. them. That's right. <laughs> the war is over. <sighs> I never imagined Square going this dark. I wonder, Square, we are going to die. I never would have seen you coming. Oh, I'm afraid of dying. Oh, boy. This really hurts. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh God. It is. That's a monstrosity. <laughs> What's with you? I thought you were ready to die. <clears throat> Even King. Even King. But I'm not ready. I'm scared. So dark and gritty. <laughs> and the way they have Sync Breakfast, who up until this point has always been the cheeriest, the most optimistic, that was horrible. And this is when you see the children. Because they are, man. They were, I think they're 17. It really and they've is. never had trouble. I want to die. Oh. This is the end? Why does it. No, it so can't be. Type next. 
There's Type Nix and you're all gonna be back! Because Type Nix is gonna happen and... It's gonna happen! Welcome, wandering souls, for your rest that we pray. Let our hearts really song clear your hearts of this. The ace night. can't sing for shit. Rekindle that just makes it even better. Flame in your souls and set you free. The ice can't sing for so shit. So walk on and become the light that guides, guides the, way. the way. And that's the only bit he knows. I remember. I I literally haven't seen this you or played never this in about a year. Go past that part, do you? I need to play that's again. That's the only part Ace knows. <laughs> I'm not crying anymore. Yeah. Oh, Jack. Jack. Jack was in my team. Jack. Size. Hey. And seven. The war is over now, right? Cater on backup. That's right. And sync with her quambo. Let's think about oh, fuck. what this comes game. next. Next. We don't have a next. But we're but Sink free to said think that. about it. Sink. Sink. The biggest optimist. Yeah. By the way, yeah. she literally looks like Zack and Aerith. Then let's think of a future. I've seen the picture of Zack and Aerith and Sink. She she could literally be the child of Zack and Aerith. You have what to see it, it's first. fucking uncanny. Any suggestions? Oh, when they did this, I thought there was going to be a hope mother. that they'd all live. On a trip to Concordia and Militas. Don't you think you've been to both of those places enough yeah. times on our campaigns? I remember I thought that could... We're not going there to fight. We're going there just for fun. I don't oh. think Concordia or Militas yeah. like are going to welcome you. For once, we'll finally be able to take it easy. And so will Mother. Oh. Then we're just gonna have to draw up a proper itinerary. That's our class leader. Bitter. Always micromanaging. Since when am I the class leader? <laughs> and it's facial expressions. It's... Okay. So what do we do when we get back from our one of my favorite cinematic cutscenes? Let's see. I just love him. How about we study something else besides fighting? What? Huh? More studying Jeez. and tests? Uh, but this time, it won't be about learning to use weapons. <laughs> I love Nine magic. in the background. So, <laughs> what do we study? Played by Orion Carver. that's not fighting? Great guy. Best interview I've ever had with the guy who plays Nine. And he really well, fucking loves Final you... Fantasy. Brilliant. With fables about the founders of Orient. <laughs> <laughs> or study all about... How flowers bud. Give it up already. <laughs> All we've ever known is war. We have so much left to learn. Huh? Does that even count as studying? At this point, I've, I mean, they look fine. Oh, I thought they was going to be fine. Good. And then, what do we do when we're done studying? Yeah, there's so much hope. What do we do when? So in much the ambition. So much. Way in the future? Like how long? Hmm. How about like ten years later? Huh? <laughs> ten years, you say? I can't even imagine. I'm sure that no matter what we do, it will be great oh, as long as we're together. I know <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. life would definitely be fun. I, know I just know it. <laughs> yes, I would agree with that. Oh, fuck off! Yeah. Why are you playing with our emotions? You never know what will happen in the future, right? So I think we Go should just stay flow. in the moment. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh. Huh? <laughs> Is that why I heard you whisper Jack. that you never want to grow up? <laughs> Jack's a monster. Wait, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Square, look at you. Yeah, smile and laugh. Look, oh, Square. Square, thank you. You're not going to kill one of my favorite cast of characters. They killed 12, is it? 12 characters. That's unprecedented. 
What game does that? I I couldn't see it coming, but it's gonna fucking happen. And I'm so glad I'm not alone, not at all. I was all smiling and happy, thinking, "Oh, they're fine." It was they were being melodramatic at the start about dying. They're gonna be fine. I really thought that, and that's what's gonna make this bit coming up even harder. Oh, buckle up, guys. Buckle up. <sighs> this is one of my favourite Final Fantasy songs of all time. Legitimately, as you've heard me playing it in my videos a lot, uh, it's because it is my favourite. It just hits me in the feels because it reminds me of one of my favourite favorite yet most horrible game endings of all time Ooh. just reading the lyrics they're so beautiful and it punches me in the heart I've listened to this so many times guys I can actually sing this in Japanese I'm tempted to do it, but I'm not going to. I can. I know this word for word in Japanese. <sighs> I hope I can post this feels up. And I don't have to mute this song because the copyright on this song is really strict. I don't know why. But you can't get it anywhere else in the world. All the other versions got taken down. So I might have to play the slow version over, so it depends if it's the bumper chicken quick version or slow. I don't know what you really listen to. I'm listening to the bumper chicken. The one with the guitar. Oh, so it's going to start singing then. <laughs> I'm not going to. But I love both versions of the song, I do. Both the slow and the, um, the bumpy chicken. Oh, just reading the lyrics. Knowing what's coming up. Oh, I fucking love this game. I love this series. I love this franchise. You don't eat. I don't even need to see the scene. Every time I hear this song, I just feel it. I do. I really hope they do type next. I need. I know what's coming and I need some sort of healing. It's still a scar, a wound on my heart till this, to this point today. Remember I said about 10? I said with 10, if it ended at 10 and not 10 to, I would have been permanently scarred. This is how I am with type zero. I really am. And I thought at this point, there's no way. I really thought at this point, uh, when I played the first time, I thought it was a happy ending, and they played a happy song, they had them all smiling and laughing at the end. I thought, yes, they're, they're gonna. I didn't see this coming. I never, I never saw this coming. I thought, no. No. No chance. No way. And it's the way that... The way they're holding each other's hands. And it's the way that heads are arrested on each other. Oh, the way they have Ace and Juice laying on each other, their heads.
And it's Makina's reaction. Everyone thought he hated the class. Oh, oh, I hate their legs. I hate their legs. I hate their legs. I hate the girl's legs. You're probably thinking what the fuck is it? Don't show me Asian juice anymore. Look at, and look at the stand, guys. Look at the stand. It's made out of their weapons. History left them behind. But we know them. We are right here. <laughs> I'm actually right. I'm all right. It's just the legs. <laughs> I can't deal with the legs. <laughs> oh. And the way they made that stand out of their weapons, they literally made, they literally made a stand out of their cloaks and weapons, laid down in those positions, held each other's hands, and fucking died. Tell me, tell me that's not the darkest Final Fantasy today. Tell me that's not the darkest, grittiest Final Fantasy day. Tell me. Tell me. Someone tell me there's an end darker, grittier than that. All fucking is. All fucking is. Because there isn't. Oh, this thought, this game is so, so underrated. And I understand why. I understand the plot. What? Fucking hit! I can't. I have to keep listening to the music. It's her Mauser. It's her Mau I love the OST. The OST is one of my favourite OSTs. One of the best. One of my top five. Um, I, lo I love this OST so much. So I have to keep listening to spot my head sweating like a fucker. Um, yeah, this is why we need type next. I need this healing. I can't have that as the ending. Um, the only reason why I'm not completely heartbroken is because there I won't say too much there's a secret ending if you do a second playthrough and there's kind of a debate on whether that is canon or not so I ain't gonna say I know my boy Jewel he's not done a second playthrough yet um, but yeah guys I need this game I need type next uh, I'm gonna do type zero videos because this, I, this has to continue. I have to have type next. Um, <laughs> this song. I need to play again. I need to play again. And I'm going to have King, Queen and A on my team this time. And bear in mind guys, that will be my fourth playthrough. I have played it three times, um, which is more than any other Final Fantasy bar 7, but considering 7 has been out 20 years and this has been out in the West about a year and a half, maybe two years now, uh, that tells you how much I love this Final Fantasy, I really love this Final Fantasy, it is my favourite Final Fantasy, I've realised, when I think about the story, like I said, I it's the best Final Fantasy story, uh, it's the darkest, it's the grittiest, it's the one that gives me the most feels I let I, I know I'm doing so well right now um, I'm really proud of myself that I'm not bawling um, but I feel like I've been punched in the nuts I 
literally, I, I feel stomach pain. My chest is very tight right now. The feels. Ah, oh, just seeing like Kazuza reminds me of Kurosama and Emina's. Their relationship. Ah, oh, story was so deep. And what a lot of people don't know is you have to speak to people around academia. There's so many little sub stories going on. Um, there's a story of uh, Aki. Aki and uh, Fuyu. Sorry if I get the names wrong. It was Aki and Fuyu and their two sisters, and they go throughout the entire game together. Um, and you see their relationship, you see them interact, you, you hear them worrying about each other, uh, and they sort of support each other throughout. And you go through this entire game, and Fuyu, uh, Fuyu was the first one who showed you when you arrived at academia. I go ruin if anyone and played it or played with them too, but then you find out you've made it. Fuck it, I'm gonna come out and say it. You go through all the war, them too, and then what's really hard is that at the end you just see Aki. At the, oh no, it might be Fuyu, and Aki's the first one who showed you. You just see Fuyu by the fountain on her own, and she says. How do I know you guys? I know there was someone really important who introduced us. I literally fucking cried at that. Because you literally... And that's just to go around and talk to academia. 99% people won't do that. Every single mission you have to talk to. Every single one. And she literally forgets, they make it all the way to the last mission, and what's even harder is if you go to a certain part of the mission, you actually see um, the way she dies, and there's nothing you can do, and then, yeah, this is what's hard about this story, is you forget, when people die, you forget, completely forget. And that's just the most fucked up thing ever. And that's why you even have groups of like four people, and one person will die, and then the three of them will be talking and they'll say that they feel a bit more empty inside and then you go there three missions later and there'll only be two of them and oh type zero type fucking zero I'm done guys I'm done because uh, uh, I could talk about this all day um, and I'm going to I want type next to happen I'm going to do type next videos uh, I've got theories on them, um, things I want to discuss with Type Zero. Uh, and bear in mind that Square Enix have posted my channel twice. If there's any kind of influence that I have, or any way that I can show with my small following to Square Enix that we here in the West want Type, type Next, that there is an interest for it, uh, I am going to do a petition. I am going to do a petition. I'm going to get people to sign it. And, hope, and I'm going to submit it to Square. Because Tabitha said, well, this music is so grand. I should have rounded my video out at that point. Sorry, I'm, o I'm over speaking. Um, Tabitha said he wants to continue this series. He said he loves, uh, he wants it to be his own franchise. So after 15's done, after the World of Final Fantasy's done, uh, I'm going to do that petition. Uh, this ending, this, this, the ending's great. Makina goes on to try to redeem himself. Um, so if I can do anything in my power to make Type Next happen, I'm going to. So watch out for that petition. Uh, let me know in the comment section below, guys, what you want the next Feels Friday to be. Uh, we're going to do another random number generator on it. So let me know, guys. Hit down below or over on Patreon. The man's name was Makina Kunagiri. I'd love a one that side. Um, yeah, until the next video, guys. Coupon.